Woo, loudy. There she goes. All right, portable trot line going deep. And they're moving up out of that creek channel. I've already got a hit. I have a hit right now on this. I have a hit right now on this. All right, hit him. We going bank fishing, baby. It's not as good the second time. Yeah, no, I had to blurt that last one out thanks to Brian. But we're gonna have to do this long walk to the bank with all the crap. Oh look, there's the bass uh, top water I wanted to use, a whopper plopper. <laughs> it's about to start pouring again, so I'm gonna try to get down there underneath the pavilion before we just get straight up dumped on. Guys, yeah, a big old wad of big cat fever rods here. This wind. And rain is picking up a little bit here. So we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. It's, I think it's gonna be a pretty evening after it stops raining though. Hopefully, we'll see. Made it down here just in time. I'm sure Brian's about to get dumped on. But it's definitely raining pretty hard out here. I'm coming up underneath here for a while. Woo, loudy. There she goes. You get rained on there, Brian? Yeah, but at least I'm you know, in a rain jacket. Yeah, I left mine up in the truck. Got killed. Well, we had some cinder blocks that were on the bank, but now it's at summer pool and they're not there. So we've got to go find a appropriate rod holder somewhere. I think this table looks good as one. Let's use these chairs? Uh, I don't think they're going to lay up high enough. We're going to go, I think there's a couple benches we can grab, but this is definitely an appropriate rod holder, I think. This, this, is, this is beautiful. bench type rod holders i think will work perfectly well the rain has at least temporarily subsided so i guess we'll start putting rods out until I'm then i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> my balls are chafing man <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it in there because it's funny <laughs> I'll walk. Let's see. I walked 10 miles yesterday, and so far today I'm at 7.8. <laughs> well, hopefully you're at 10 by the end of this, because that means we're running up and down this bank after fish. Ooh, got that new new. Yeah, baby, new reels. New reels. Sexy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I should be in the... There. If not, we are up a creek. No knife in there? Good. Good. Beautiful. I, I remember to pack a knife, guys. It's, it's going to be a good day. And I got the sinkers. How many rods? I think we got like 10 rods. Uh, three. How many skips do we have in there? Longest than I used some yesterday. There should be a good amount. Yeah. Probably some heads and stuff already cut. Yeah. We didn't fish for cats long. Striper started busting. We're like, whoop, we're done with that. <laughs> Striper time, baby. Okay, we don't need much weight in here. Not much at all. Just enough to get us to throw really far. 
Ooh, we got us a head bait. Do we now? I'm gonna throw this one and just put it in the rod holder on the back of the pontoon. The catfish pontoon. I'm st I'm still saying we need to pimp out like a a big pontoon. A big pontoon boat. Put a cover on it. Yeah. In the winter, you can sit in there and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy'd be going in a rod holder for sure. Since we got one back here now. For sure. Going with a smallish chunk on this one. These fish, since they're on the spawn, may not be super active, so we may have to throw some smaller baits to get them to eat anything. We'll, of course, throw multiple because you never know unless you throw, but... Most of them are going to be about that size right there. And most of them are going to be on quicker because we ain't got a bunch of rod holders right here just yet. So, all there is to it, we're just going to line them up and down the bank and see what happens. Here we have the uh, cinder block type rod holder. $20 and I'll engrave it with Top Knox Fishing. I'm just getting this a joke. I'm being facetious. But <laughs> they work. <laughs> <laughs> They'll let you lean your rod up. That's out there, baby. We're just going to get her tight. That drag's good. And just lean her down. We'll put one, we're just staggering our bait sizes throughout the spread. Like every other rod's got a different size bait and a different cut of bait, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, so that's basically what we're doing. Again, it's spawning. Man, look, I about threw all line off that reel. Needs some more on it, looks like. We'll have to mess with that later. We'll move this brick over just a little bit. Oh yeah, double rig time. Always gotta have one out. Green Hellcat's got the double rig on it. Hopefully big old flathead eats that. On all the rods we've got circle hooks except these two bumping rods. The one Brian's got and the one I've got. We've got J hooks because they're the rods are a little bit heavier action. So we just gonna set the tarnation out of them. Chunk. Chunk. I'm gonna do something silly with this last one. You're gonna put a. I'm gonna put two small chunks. Okay. I mean, that works. Ah, uh, it's over there by the uh, toolbox or the. You know what I'm saying? We'll come down here. See how far we can get this one to throw. That's pretty far. 
That was pretty far. Far enough. What kind of a rig do we have here, Brian? I think we go even further with it. And we put like four hooks on one and have like a portable trot a, line. A sabiki rig. Yeah. The question is, can I throw this without throwing it off? I mean, probably not, but... <laughs> we'll find out. All right. Portable trot line going deep. Just they did how, not... Just how I suck it up. <laughs> they did not fall off, but they also didn't go very far. So hopefully they're active and they're moving up out of that creek channel. I've already got a hit. I have a hit right now on this. I have a hit right now on this. Yeah. I literally threw and I broke my handle off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, what? What? I literally threw that out there and immediately got hit. You can't make that up. What the heck, dude? <laughs> I'm befuddled. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Bro, he immediately hit it. So I think they're active. Yeah. They're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> May I introduce to you the first swirls <laughs> cast to catch blue cat instant in the water. I'm telling you that as soon as it hit the bottom, I felt it going. What in the heck? Now, if we were going to eat them, that's perfect size. Like perfect, perfect size. I'm flabbergasted. Let's see him. You know, one thing I've noticed, all the ones that come out of this creek are all like really copper and bronze. They're beautiful. All right, we let them go. See ya. Another chunk, sir. I guess I'm gonna do it. You see why all these catfish are in here? Bait everywhere. That's a giant school of bait. That's where the creek channel's at. Right where that school of bait's at. They're like right on the ledge of the creek channel. That's why all these catfish are in here. Also, this is perfect undercut bank with rocks and stuff like that crevices this is where catfish spawn that's another reason why they're in here too have you acquired us another chunk sir for the yeah. carpet bomb rig i'm telling you we need to just, just hook up like four send it out see what happens uh, we do it on vertical drifting with two or three yeah so Seems legit. Okay. I'll throw it back out there. Now, if I immediately get hit again, something's wrong or right. However you want to look at it. We're completely changing the name. <laughs> yeah. Quite funny. Quite funny indeed. All right, it's on the bottom now. I did not immediately get hit, but we'll see if this one gets hit, hit next. I guess it's now Brian's turn. Oh, Brian's got one going. Ah! Oh, that's screaming. That's screaming. Click it over. Reel, 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 reel. He come off. Dang, that was going. Shoot. Well, that was a run and a half. They just feel the tension difference. If you pick it up real quick and it gets slack on them, then they drop it. That was the one you yeeted out there too. Yeah, it was like way out there. Oh, it oh, actually no. just rolled. Hook roll. Yeah, it wasn't Hook. my fault. It was not your fault. Hook roll. Dang. That kind of sounded striper-esque how it was going darn well can't do nothing about that hook it up that way see what happens we'll put her back out there that little point 
Yep. Mile out there. I reckon I'm going to tie on this top water now. Catch me a bass. Or something. This is like good good top water weather. Overcast. Should be active. Obviously the catfish are. We haven't even got all the rods out. We've already had caught one and missed one. So we're just going to tie this guy on. Seeing bait and stuff flip everywhere. Good sign. I've made a grave mistake. What? These boots are not waterproof. They're not? No. Are your feet wet now? Yep. Oof. I hate having my feet wet. See if a bass wants to come out to play. Come on, Mr. Whopper Plopper, uh, get plopped. Kind of walking around the bank now while we've got all our rods out just casting see if i can get a bass on top water it's still pretty early in the evening it's like five or six could start about nine or so this will probably be more effective as it starts getting darker and then get more active the bass at least heck i've caught catfish on this top water before but i'm gonna cast around a little bit and then i'm gonna throw it out with a piece of cut bait or this rod out with a piece of cut bait after this next couple casts just to see what happens and put it in one of the rod holders on the pontoon and see if it gets slammed. Because fighting big fish on light tackle is fun as crap. Really, really fun. I very much enjoy it. Operation throw baby pull out with catfish stuff on it is a, is a go. So we gonna see what gonna happen. Could be silly, could be not. We'll find out. I don't know if this rod's sturdy enough to even set this circle hook if one of them eats it, but I'm gonna throw it out there regardless. I wonder where the best place to do this is at. I am not quite sure. What I may do, may come over here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Move this guy over a little bit. Well, thought I was. Uh, hold, please. All right, now we're kind of positioned correctly. I just don't know how I'm going to cast this thing from right here. Eh. I may walk it to the other side and cast it, actually. Yeah, we're going to throw it from over here. This looks a little better. That green one's kind of angled out toward the left, so I'm going to throw this one semi-centerish. Man, if a big one hits it, it's going to be just silly. This will be funny. All right, baby pole is in a rod holder and locked down with a fresh piece of cut bait on it. We'll see what happens. Real, 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 quick, 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 quick. Are you on there? It came off. Came off? Nope. Real quick, 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 quick. Pulled up. You got him? Did that handle break too? 
that's what you get for buying or i get for buying amazon replacement handles you on there yeah he's on there he's just a little guy here just stick that thing back in there then i have to jb weld those down i guess dang it what's well, fish on baby fish on just a little guy he's swimming up this way with it brian's trying to find us some worms so that we can uh well, I did have one before I threw it down. Well, he's getting us some worms so we can catch a bluegill and then throw a live bait out for a flathead. Channel cat. Channel. That's the first one I caught back in here. That was a very channel bite, though. Catfish number two. Well, he got that tin out right in that mouth. little guy you want to keep any fish no i'm good yeah. look where he's kind of been spawning yeah. starting to look at that right there that's where he started to fan the eggs on the nest he's like a star, man. I mean, what's that? Hmm. and then this uh, channel cat ate a chunk so we're gonna throw back another chunk and try to find a bluegill or a worm to catch a bluegill that's the second dang handle that's come off hmm Sucks. Just replace those. That went a mile. We have the worm. Now we catch the bluegill and then the flathead. Shabluegill. Working up the food chain. Yo, bluegill, sir. Our future bluegill. It's going to take a hoss bluegill to get that hook in its mouth. Mm. We may have to use one of them little jigs. It'll be alright. Trust. Trust. It bluegill time. Where are you feeling some gillage? Up on the bank. That ish. Looks awfully bluegilly to me. Come here, bluegill. Come on. Kind of brings you back to the days when you're a little kid watching a bobber. I'm getting dinked to death right now. We may have to put a smaller hook on. Whoop. We had a dinker. Come on, eat it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeetosaurus Rex. <laughs> There do be no more worm. Okay, let me uh, let me try this again, guys. I am so bad at bluegill fishing; it's just not even funny. I'm also using a six hundred dollar rod and reel to do this <laughs> with like twenty pound braid on it. This is not ideal. We did not bring these here for this. I left my bluegill rod at home. Now we've just got a halfway worm and not the good one that I had on. We're going to have to go dig some more up. Come on. I'm bored. No freak. How do you already eat it off? What the heck? It's your turn. It's your worm turn. Whoa. That one's going. Whoa. It clicked over on its own. That wasn't great. Is he still on there? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, little guy. Oh, his handle came off again, dang it. Where's he at? Is he still on it? It looks like it. It's That's swimming around that buoy. I don't know if he's still on it or not.
No, it came off. Yeah, it came off. Well, that was a close one. We put down, are you kidding me? You picked it up before you hooked it up. I did. I goobed it up. I had chips in my mouth. Dang it. Well, this guy's getting hit. He is carrying it into that one is what's happening. I'm gonna have to pick it up out of here. Oh yeah, he's swimming with it. He's swimming into this. Hey, it's this fish. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Baby pole hooked up. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. He's just a little feller, but they, man, they found a fight on this. He was dinking on it. Uh oh, he's coming towards the dock. This could end poorly. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> baby catfish, baby catfish. Hold on, we got fish on. That's a bad place to put that. Yep. <laughs> I'm moving that. Catfish, baby. On the baby pole. Maybe that other one was getting hit. Because it's not on the line. The baby pole strikes with an eight pounder. Oh yeah. Nice little blue cat. Pretty. Love the colors on them. Hopefully we get a big one here soon or a flathead. Yeah, buddy. Well, he's recuperating. I kind of belly flopped him a little bit. He's getting his bearings back. Whoa, go get that. That's flying. Real, 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 real. Get up, get it up. He's on. Pick him up. You got him? Yep, I got him. Is that one a little better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Heck yeah. He was zooming. Zooming. I'm sitting here trying to re-snail this knot. Is this fish number five? Four? Four or five, yeah. What will he come at us? We having this a good old time. We're still trying to he's get a dang walk. bluegill. Where's he coming at us? Yeah, they're no, he's just, is he coming at you? Yeah, he can, yeah. He ran straight at the bank. I hooked a real big one the first time I was down here off the tip of that dock, and it was just, it's like a 60, I think, and he just flipped off as he came in close. Blue? Blue. A little decenter. A little decenter. Alligator roll. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, boop, 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 boop. There you go. Hooked up, baby. He's 10 plus. Very nice. He was gone. Love hearing a blue take a clicker. Let's see him. That's a beautiful cat. That's a really pretty catfish. Nice fish. Okay, let's go release him.
<laughs> He's ready to go. In the zone. You know what we should do? Get one of the kayaks and kayak that bluegill out. Okay, well. We have to catch a bluegill first to do that. Obviously. I mean, we can catch catfish and skipjack. Just not bluegill. We're going to try for some bluegill again. I really want to catch a catfish on a live bait that's worthy of being put in the net. Look at all these skipjack busted on bait right here, guys. Without a doubt, I saw like five or six come up. Dude. Now we big chilling and waiting for another one to go off. Rain has stopped. We still can't catch a bluegill for nothing, but we chilling. Brian's about to try again for a bluegill. I guess. I don't even really know. He found another hook that may be better for this. It's smaller. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Click it over. Let him bend it. All right, reel like crazy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, pick up on him hard. Got him? Yeah. Got him. A little decenter? Or is he coming at you again? No, I think it's a thing. I think it's just a little guy. I just want to catch a flathead. Did he get in this line? Yeah. Yeah, I did get in this one. come over here what we got there B wow he took off with that how in God's name did we hook that what that's like the size of some skipjack we use as bait and he was zinging it <laughs> oh, it's going. It's going, baby. Did you get him? Nope. Well, oh well. Dang. Anything going on over there? Nope. Unfortunate. I felt them drop it. it didn't... Wasn't very big? No. Well, y'all, we caught a couple other dinkers after dark in that video or the one you're watching right now. And uh, that was pretty much it. Had a good time bank fishing. Middle of the spawn here in East Tennessee. So this time of the year for a cat from it, cat, cat fisherman is just a big chilling mode, which is what we were doing. We caught some good fish and uh, had a good time. And that's what it's about. We left uh, a little bit after sunset because I had to be at work real early in the morning. And... Uh, other than that, good all around good time. Caught uh, several fun sizers, and uh, really couldn't ask for a better evening. Uh, I hope you may have learned a little bit in this video. Had a good time with Brian and I, and shared some uh, good old friendly fellowship and smack talkery. Uh, you are gonna want to watch the next video because we we filmed already a full tutorial on how to catch bait and everything from the bank for catfish and how to find bank fishing spots from the bank and uh, literally everything uh, from beginning to end um, for it. And I don't think there's really anything like that out there on YouTube yet. So if you stuck around or stayed around, well, if you stayed around for the entirety of this video, I appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already. Share us with some of your friends and stay tuned for the next bank fishing video. I think it's going to be called, I don't know, I'll come up with some clickbaity title. We'll see you on the next one.